The Caribbean, the perfect vacation spot to really relax and unwind. And because taxes are so low and financial control so minimal, it's also a great place to hide money. The money comes from the Swiss subsidiary of British bank HSBC. The latest Swiss leaks revelations indicate that HSBC in Geneva supported its clients in their illegal business dealings for years. The English parent company bought this Swiss bank for $10 billion in 1999 because it wanted this type of clientele. Otherwise, it would not have spent that kind of money. It's linked to some 100,000 clients worth a total of more than 100 billion euros. The HSBC system functioned like this. Anyone who wanted to, for instance, dodge taxes at home, opened an account at HSBC's Geneva branch. The client would be given a numbered account, which could then be used to open numerous sub-accounts, and the money could be distributed among them all. Additionally, clients could shelter their money in a foundation with headquarters in an offshore tax haven. But HSBC didn't just help its clients with traditional tax dodging. Its bankers also allegedly helped launder money. For instance, the files reveal that money from blood diamond trafficking was invested with the bank. Several thousand gem dealers are listed as clients of HSBC's Swiss bank. Money from drug trafficking was also found in the bank's accounts. And even weapons dealers are said to be clients, including top-level financial backers of the terrorist group Al-Qaeda. The bank is clearly guilty. It would be one thing if there were just a few cases, but there were a hundred thousand. That means they were clearly looking for this kind of business, tax evasion and money laundering. Most of the roughly 100,000 clients mentioned in the files are from Switzerland. The next largest groups are from France and Britain. But the services of the Geneva branch were in demand around the world, especially in Brazil, the United States and Mexico. HSBC also had a large number of clients in South Africa and Saudi Arabia. But there were customers in nearly every country across the globe. Former Credit Suisse manager Hans Geiger doesn't see what all the fuss is about. The bank is not responsible for its clients' business dealings. We're having this impossible discussion about taxes and people are trying to make banks responsible for making their clients pay their taxes which is absurd. It doesn't work that way. It isn't ethics. It's just political nonsense. This week, HSBC admitted to errors in the past and insists it has ended its relationships with problematic clients. But just how credible are those claims?